One of the questions we get asked a lot is, when am I ready to move up out of the group I'm in? Well, there's a really easy way of seeing that and knowing that definitively. So, let's get back on track and let's see how that works. So right now we're going out in B group. It's an A, B day, 30 minute sessions here at Button Willow with Kegwins. So one of the things that is primarily of concern with moving up to B plus or A, first of all is consistency and predictability. And second of all is passing. Can you make the pass definitive? Plan it, execute it and go. So right now we have quite an open trek. So that's probably gonna change in a little bit. I see we have a lot of open track. There's a group in front of us, so we'll see. This is our outlap. So we've got to put heat in the tires. Right now they are literally, uh, I would say cold. So we'll warm up the tires thoroughly with acceleration and a bit of braking. Coming around to the bus stop. A little bit of brake, down a gear, let's go. Put some heat back in. Nice and easy. And tracks open and clear. Into fourth. Run over the black square. Keep our radius with speed going. Straight. And then a little dip. And away we go. Nice and smooth, still need more heat in that front. Don't trust it just yet. Okay. Now we've got a bit more heat. We can get a bit more drive. A bit more braking. In all the videos, you've seen these lines and you know these lines. So, can you be consistent and run the same lines? That's a big part of you being able to move up in groups, hitting the same marks, the same lines every time, irrespective of the speed you're traveling. Okay, so we are slowly catching two riders in front of us. Back into six. So now one rider's coming up. Where's, what's our plan? Well, we're gonna uh, pass here. Done, definitive, pass made. Next rider. Run the same line. Okay, so the rider in front on the CBR 1000 is quick in a straight line. The rider on the Tuono 
got good corner pace. So, we're not going to catch them right away. Might catch them under braking. So, now they'll leave us. catch him again so the danger there with a rider that's coming from out to in is that he isn't going to see you so he's breaking early for two so we'll come around the outside still maintain our line and the pass is executed cleanly and safely we'll keep our lines tight And smooth. Now we have another rider potentially coming in. That rider is going to be a ways away. So, the possibility of catching that bike might not be till the last turn, we'll see. Yep, not going to get him here. Now, is there an opportunity to safely pass in the sweeper? No, there is not. So now we're going to wait. Get the best drive we can. So that route's blocked. We'll just make the pass on the inside. Nice and easy. Pass executed. More riders up ahead. Again, consistency, so very important if you want to move up. We have to trust you. A very slow rider coming out of two. Still looking at them, they got off the corner reasonably well. definitely slow in the corner so the pass is inside there's the pass nice and safe and that's going to be it for this lap so Hopefully that's given you some good metrics to use. But if you want to jump up, no matter what group you are in, until of course you get to A. And the next group from A is racing. Can you ride with absolute consistency, predictability, and make your passes definitive? and do it all in an extremely relaxed state. And off we come. So, hopefully that was very helpful to you and that you could see how that planning took place. And then with the explanation, understand when that planning becomes important, but most importantly, your predictability, your willingness to make the pass safe, 
and make the pass occur quickly with no interruptions, no disruptions, and no headaches for you or the rider you're passing. Thanks for riding with us at Kegwins. We'll see you out on the track.